Article 33, do I have a motion to open discussion on Article 33, moved by Mr. Pierce, seconded by Mr. Bean. Is there anyone who would like to speak to Article 33? Uh, yes, Mr. Moderator, if I may. Mr. Um, Pierce. On uh, number 33, <clears throat> this one, we put a lot, a lot of effort into it um, <clears throat> this last year, trying to figure out how to get the uh, noise issues sort of revolved in a couple places more or less in town and we decided well we can't really focus on one or two places we have to focus on the whole big picture and what we did here we did some sampling testing of noise levels at the beach and i had the pleasure of working around <clears throat> ocean boulevard with deputy chief sawyer up and down the boulevard and several other places and that's how we came up with the particular dp levels in this particular ordinance and i'm I'm somewhat pleased that we come up with what I think is a very reasonable change in the ordinance to help us with the noise situations at some places in town. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. Is there anyone else who wishes to be heard on Article 33? Mr. Preston? Thank you. I have a concern with this article as it's written. I understand the intent and I feel very sympathetic to the abutter uh, and what uh, Mary Lee has gone through. But I'm looking at it from a different way. Uh, many years ago, my folks had a clam stand at the beach. And uh, we sold the business to Vinnie Rossitti and it became the Sea Catch restaurant. Vinnie was in real estate, we went to real estate, he came here. And over that time, you know, we've seen all the wonderful things that the Sea Catch has done. Um, they're, they're incredible what they've done for the beach. I think the Sea Catch is now one of the icons of the beach. In fact, the Sea Catch pays $50,000 in taxes, over $50,000 in taxes. And I drive by and I look and I see the folk singer up there. And it, it's not loud. I think it's good entertainment. It's what we all want to see at the beach. So I'd like to propose an amendment to say rather than shut off the entertainment at 11, I'd like to see if we have it till 12 o'clock. I've talked to Vince about this. He said it's fine, it doesn't hurt him, but to shut him off at 11 o'clock uh, does impact his business, and I don't think that he deserves to do that. So if I understand um, your amendment, uh, Mr. Preston, it's that portion of Article 33 which has a 75 dB uh, provision for 12 noon to 11 p.m. at present, and you want to make it 12 noon to midnight? Yes. Yep. And I don't think that, that Vince cares if it has to go from a, a different level from 10 to 11 to 12. He just doesn't want it to have to be shut off. Well, I, I just, I'm trying to make sense of your amendment. So is your amendment simply changing 11 p.m. to midnight? Midnight, yes. All right. Is there a second on Mr. Preston's? Seconded by Ms. Latimer. Now, you've got to come down here so that everybody can hear you. So we're going to entertain a question from this gentleman because I have people in line. So your Just question. One real quick thing. Sorry again, Ashley Meyer, 25 Morton Road. Midnight doesn't exist in, in legally in the law. It's either got to be 001 a.m., okay, or 11.59 p.m. Midnight doesn't exist officially. There's no such thing as 000. There's 12 noon, but you can't have a time of 000. So can we do 12 a.m.? No, because 12 a.m. doesn't exist either. Now, you can't have the 12 because there's no such time as 12 a.m. It can be either 11.59 p.m. or 001 a.m. There is a 12.59. There is a 12.59. I'm sorry, 11.59. There is 11.59 a.m. But there's no 12 Mr. Preston? Because it doesn't address exist in time. Okay. And my second came from Ms. Latimer. Are you okay with 11.59 p.m.? So that we're going to shift to 11.59 p.m. We're on the uh, Preston Amendment. Anyone who wishes to be heard on the Preston Amendment, which is simply changing from 11 p.m. to 11.59 p.m. Yes, ma'am.
Mary Lee Toomey, 75 Ocean Boulevard. In a family-friendly town, and particularly in a tourist destination, families should be able to go to sleep before 12 midnight. I propose that between 11 and 12 midnight, um, the noise level, the decibel level, be changed to 50. Okay. So let um, me, I've got to jump in here. We can only take one amendment at a time. Okay. So I appreciate your comments about Mr. Preston's amendment. I gather you're opposed to the amendment because it lengthens the amount of time. I don't want to put words in your mouth, but that's what I okay. understand. So you can um, make an amendment of your own later on, but this is simply okay. on shall this be changed from 11 p.m. to 11.59. Okay. Um, may, I, may I continue with some sure. remarks? Yeah. Okay. Boston, home to many restaurants, bars, clubs, and young college students, has a noise ordinance of 70 decibels from 7 in the morning till 11 at night and 50 decibels from 11 at night to 7 in the morning. That's Boston, Massachusetts. In York Beach, Maine, in the mixed-use district, the decibel level is 65 from 8 in the morning till 11 at night and 50 from 11 at night to 8 in the morning. Both of these communities have a thriving nightlife and feel that these limits are both respectful and enforceable. Keep in mind that each 10 decibel level increases the sound by twofold. So every time you move up 10 points on the decibel scale, you are doubling the output. Please give Hampton a noise ordinance which provides a responsible, reasonable, and fair noise control. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else wishing to be heard on the Preston Amendment? Mr. Moderator. Mr. Moderator. Gentleman right. Uh, Mr. Lupley? Okay. <laughs> Uh, Mark Lupley, 7 Carlson Road. You know, I, we've been here today and we've heard a lot of different amendments from uh, different ordinances that talk about other towns. But this is Hampton. This is our town. And, and we shouldn't be compared to Boston. We shouldn't be compared to Portsmouth. I mean, this is Hampton. So I think we should do just what we need to do. All right. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Lupley. Yes, sir. Kevin Brown, Sea Catch Restaurant. We support the amendment of turning down the music, but also moving up the time to 11:59. Okay. But turning it down is adequate. Turn it and turning it off is wrong. We feel that 11:59 is the right time. Okay. Sea Catch Restaurant. Thank you, Mr. McMahon. Uh, Brandon McMahon, 59 Path. I do support the Preston am uh, Amendment. We are a destination that is a vacation destination. We're Hampton Beach. People expect to be entertained. I don't think that one more hour or 59 more minutes is going to uh, make a drastic change in their idea of, as to where they need to go to vacation. It's a, it's a reasonable amendment, in my opinion, and I hope that it passes. Mr. Age. Uh, Chuck Age, 121 Ocean Boulevard. I do support um, the amendment bringing it to 1159, and I hope everybody supports the next amendment is coming forward to lowering the sound. I am in a butter to uh, a couple of uh, restaurants and um, uh, bars that have music, and people come to Hampton Beach for this entertainment. But as a, as a neighbor, I, I know that my neighbors, being the sea catch and the boardwalk in right next to me, are very respectful of the people around them, and I, I feel that um, neighbors have to respect each other. 
and they're in business though to, to make money and I hope that you uh, support this amendment and the next amendment coming forward, if, if there is one by uh, Mrs. Toomey, I think you should support that as well. Thank you. Mr. Rice. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Fred Rice, 15 Heather Lane. Hampton Beach has always been an entertainment zone and it's always had loud noises at various times of the day or night. People come for vacation, they come to relax, they come to let their hair down. To say that, well, the people that live in or adjacent to commercial zones that allow entertainment and so forth uh, shouldn't have the expectation that they can control what goes on over in that zone. If they don't want to hear the sound from an entertainment zone, then don't buy, live, or rent adjacent to it. Those people have, it's a business zone so that people can earn their living in that zone. And this is one of the ways in which they earn their living. I think the, that the uh, uh, community d uh, down there at the beach is going to be uh, talking about lowering the uh, noise levels. That's a good effort on their part, but it can't expect to be a total uh, prohibition on it whatsoever. I remember back to the days when uh, people didn't want to drop a liquor anywhere in Hampton and all the hypocrites used to drop, vote dry here in Hampton and go over and get drunk as a skunk in Salisbury. And this is the same type of thing. I want to come and have fun on my schedule, but I don't want anybody else to have fun on their schedule. That's too restrictive to do that. I think adding another 59 minutes isn't going to uh, change anything drastically, especially since this is an entertainment community. Thank you, Mr. Rice. Seeing no one else, I am going. Okay. It's it's supposed to be right here. No, you got to put it in 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 the places. That, that is correct. No, that's the that's what I read to him. Please change it so that it is reflected in the decibel box. That's what. Please change it on the uh, what's on the screen. Mr. Barberib, I think that the whole intent was to make this outside, and the sea catch is not outside; it's inside. I think that the intent was that this applied to outside uh, entertainment uh, between those periods of time, like uh, Christina said. And uh, if we're going to have outside entertainment with something as loud as mm -hmm. 75 dB yeah. at almost midnight, I think that's really pushing it a little hard. The uh, shell normally shuts down somewhere around 9.30 or so, the way I remember it and talking to people down there. The seas catch historically has shut their uh, entertainment down somewhere around 10.30 or 11. So that's not a problem for them unless they've, unless of course they've changed it some point I was told this last year or so uh, after talking to the owner and so forth. So, because the owner did come in and talk to us and we had a pretty clear understanding of that. At least I thought we did. So keeping in mind mm -hmm. that this is outside, you could hold that. when you're yeah. talking about okay. insider entertainment, all the rules would apply to insider entertainment would be different. This is outside. When you have outside entertainment that's directly across from a motel room that's on the second or third or even the fourth floor, and those people have 75 dB noise in their room coming up until midnight, I don't blame them. I wouldn't want to stay there because a lot of the old boulder buildings at the beach don't have the sound insulation. I've stayed in hotels in New York City where I watched the New Year's, cele New Year's Eve celebration. We were on about the fifth floor. I couldn't hear a thing unless I heard it on TV or whatever because they have sound insulation in those buildings. But some of the buildings we have at the beach don't have all that protection to protect them from the outside. So I suggest that this is a very poorly thought out on this amendment. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Pierce. I need to get Mr. Preston, if I could get Mr. Preston back to the podium, and I've got to get um, Ms. Latimer's attention for a moment as well. Mr. Moderator? No. Oh, okay. 
No. Mr. Preston? I know. The clerk has raised a question as to the intent and the scope of your amendment. There are two places in Article 33 where 11 p.m. appears. The first place it appears is where it says to amend Chapter 149, Section 149.9, hours restricted by adding the following subsection. A, outside entertainment activity shall only be allowed between the hours of 12 noon and 11 p.m. or earlier if specified by the Board of Selectmen. And then the other place that it appears is where there are decibel limitations. Right now, 75 dBs, it says 12 noon to 11 p.m. So the question arose whether you wanted both of those 11 p.m.s to change to 11.59 or whether your intention was only for it to change in one spot in Article 33. I'd like it to be consistent so when the police chief pulls up, he can say, Vinny, you can leave your music on till 11.59, and if it has to be in both spots, fine. Okay. So I think that's the way we've got it right now is in both, both locales, right? In the... Uh, No, no, we're not, we're not addressing that. We're not addressing that so far. You've got it correctly in the decibel. The question is whether earlier in the, uh, in the ordinance have you changed it? Yes, you have. Great. Okay, is that consistent? Ms. Latimer, is that consistent with your second? All right. Um, anybody else wishing to, to be heard on the, um, on the amendment, the Preston Amendment? Ms. Woolsey. Yeah. I thought we were supposed to be running a family beach down there. You've got establishments down there that rent to individuals, not by the day, but for a number of days or a week. They shouldn't be interfered with either. In the old days, the police officers could go and say, shut the noise down, but they can't do that anymore. You've got to be tangled around with ordinances. We want the businesses who are in business to provide lodging for individuals to not have their customers blown out of the room and say, I'll never go back there again. I think the ordinance as it's been drafted in this article is perfectly fine and I oppose the amendment. I know, we talked, no, no. Um, go ahead. Hello, my name is Marcella Quant. I live at 4 Quinlan Lane, Hampton. I don't live anywhere near all this noise, but I have been here a long time. I think it's very sad that we have to provide for people who want to drink and make noise outside after 11 p.m. I don't think we should drive people away who want to stay at the beach and actually enjoy the ocean and the sand. Um, and the shops in the daytime? Yes. Are we only catering to those who want to come to this beautiful ocean to gamble and stay up all night? Uh, I remember when they closed up the sidewalks at 10 p.m. I used to work at the casino when I was a teenager. And it was a wonderful beach then. And how many people can we, can we support who at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning don't know what they're doing and they leave trash all over the sidewalk? beer cans and stuff. I, I have nothing against entertainment and I understand that it's a short season, but I don't think this is the answer. I certainly will vote against that amendment. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. So Mr. Preston, is Mr. Preston still there? I'm going to give you a lot of exercise today because as we work through your amendment, the town attorney has pointed out to me that we have segments, and I, I understand there may be a further amendment to the decibels, but if you look at what's happened when you've gone in your day-night section from 12 noon to 11.59 p.m., then you look at late night and you have an hour or 59 minutes where it's inconsistent. Should it be 75 decibels or should it be 65 decibels? So you can change the definition of late night by making it... Um, 12.01 a.m. to 1 a.m., um, but that's the conflict that we have right now, is that um, they're bumping up against each other. Uh, 
I, I said earlier that I'm extremely sympathetic to Mary Lee and the motel and her guests. So if we can have reasonable entertainment till 11.59, uh, I'd be in favor of that. And if at some point somebody wants to put together a different change to lower the DBs at, at 11 to midnight, then I'd be in favor of that. You try, we're trying to keep everybody happy. I'm trying to be fair to businesses that have been in business in Hampton Beach for an awful long time. And, and yet, Mary Lee Hull, in her motel, she's been here since, since I was a teenager. You know, I think we have to do something to protect her business, too. So I think we could try to accommodate both of these parties. Well, I understand that. I just wanted to point out to you before we proceed with your amendment that we have a conflict. If, from an enforcement standpoint, we have uh, an hour in which, if your amendment passes, is really subject to two different um, decibel levels. Um, looking at um, that hour between 11 to 11.59, if your amendment passes, it's governed um, by the day-night provisions, and it's also uh, governed by the late-night provisions. So that's what I'm trying to uh, reconcile. That doesn't work the way it is? Go ahead, Mr. Bridal. I'm just saying if you left the day-night where it was at 12 noon to 11 p.m., and then the late night still stayed from 11 p.m. to 1 a.m., you've done the same thing. You only corrected it in that other part where it said you couldn't have any music. Yeah. So if, if you left that the way it was originally, it, sh it still should be able to work. So what Mr. Bridal is saying is that in the first part of the article, um, we have a prohibition against, um, we, we have a, a permission to have outside entertainment activity up to 11 p.m. And you've now proposed an amendment to make that 11.59, yeah. okay? Which would allow the sea catch if it has entertainment out on its deck to continue to have outdoor entertainment to 11.59. The second part of the ordinance has to do with what decibel levels are appropriate for which hours. We can take them out, we can take away your 11.59 in the second part and still have the same decibel levels and we may have somebody who comes along here next and asks and asks us to reduce those decibel levels. So I guess I go back out to Ms. Latimer and to you and say can we take this, maybe somebody already did it, uh, seeing where we were headed, uh, out of there and leave the decibel measurement alone and we have um, simply amended um, the permitted hours of outdoor entertainment to extend from 11 to 11.59. Is that consistent with your purposes? Ms. Latimer? Okay. Sorry this has been a struggle. Um, so the Preston Amendment very simply is to um, amend that section uh, which heretofore has been outside entertainment activity shall only be allowed between the hours of 12 noon and 11 p.m to 12 noon to 11.59 p.m. That's what's up for consideration. Anyone wishing to be heard further on the Preston Amendment or are we ready for the vote? Ready for the vote. All those in favor of the Preston Amendment will signal by raising your voter cards, down cards, all opposed. I declare the Preston Amendment has passed. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 33? Mr. Kilroy, did you have, was there somebody who wanted to make an amendment? Okay, I need the proponent of that amendment um, to stand and be recognized. Where is the proposer? Yeah. I'm Mary Lee. This is two names. Yeah. Oh, this is Okay. Speak, and then I'll take it back from you. I would like to amend warrant article number 38 to read from 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. 
at 50 decibels. All right, so I'm going to just make a minor correction. It's um, Article 33. So there is an amendment that's been proposed. Is there a second to that amendment? Seconded by Mr. Rage. Anyone wishing to be heard on the Toomey Amendment, which is changing the decibel level for that late night period from what's stated at 65 to 50 dBs? Mr. Rage. This is a great compromise where you're not putting people, making them close early. It's still providing entertainment but it's also going to make it easier for um, the hotels, the residents, the cottage renters to be able to get some rest. So I really uh, hope you uh, approve this. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rage. Uh, Mr. Preston. Yeah, I concur. I think this is a good move for everybody involved and it's good for the beach. Thank you, Mr. Preston. Anyone else wishing to be heard on the Toomey Amendment? Just the amendment. Mr. Brown. The Seacat Restaurant supports this amendment. Thank you, sir. Anyone else wishing to be heard on the Toomey Amendment? Seeing none, uh, we're going to take a vote on the Toomey Amendment. And if you're in favor of the Toomey Amendment, you are lowering the decibel level. Uh, from 65 to 50 during that late night, 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. time frame. All those in favor of the Toomey Amendment, raise your voter card, down cards. All opposed, the Toomey Amendment has passed. Do we have any further discussion on Article 33? Seeing none, Article 33 will appear on the ballot as amended by the Preston and Toomey Amendments. Article 33.